Are we well, are we live? Is this thing on? Hey, lucky you guys. It's back to just showing my hands again. All right. Chad has a sickness. He needs more cowbell. All right. It's good to be back home. Uh oh, who's calling me? There's a phone going off. That is not cool. <laughs> hey, youngsters, somebody's phone is going off during my live stream. This is how daddy makes his money. Come on now. Come on, this is daddy's happy time. <laughs> it's phone. <laughs> I don't want to see that again. <laughs> I told you I'd do it. I told you. <laughs> all right. Uh, good to see y'all. Let me go through John and Bad Monkey and Chads. The Chads are here. It is T-Mobile. Hey, James. Good to see you. Film. Oh, I'm no wonder I can't see. Give me give old man glasses on here. I've lost my mind. I lost it. All right. So, got a bunch of stuff to look at tonight. Lots of cool stuff. Some stuff I don't even know what it is. Some stuff you're not going to believe what happened. And then just some other cool stuff. So, I'm just going to wait a couple minutes. And then we'll jump in here. Hey, Stray, glad you're back. Awesome. Brian, good to see you. Eric's in quarantine. All right. Yeah, I left Alabama. Man, I had a good trip last week. I see a lot of cool people. Just It was kind of like a mini blade show thing. We got to see some cool knives, but the coolest thing was seeing the people. So I got to hang out with the smkw folks and i got to go down to alabama and hang out with a bunch of really cool folks some awesome awesome knife makers of course awesome awesome knife competitors <laughs> then some really cool people guys that have been on forge and fire guys that were on knife or death you know donovan phillips holy freak that was awesome got to got to really hang out and talk with him a lot and he's awesome i'm like his, his mini me i'm like I'm like him, but shrunk down about a foot. He's got to be a foot taller than me. So, yeah, it was just fun. It was a lot of fun. All right. What about that 306 bar? Oh, yeah. Got to hang out with Big Hand Dave. 306 barbecue was awesome. Just sitting there with all the people was awesome. I had Gary Bond on one side. I had... John, I want to call him Dave on there, but discount Dave, discount Dan, discount Dan on their side talking and their families and wives and kids. And I ate some brisket enchiladas. Holy freak. That's on the menu. That's going to be my next keto cheat day is brisket enchiladas. Holy, it was just awesome. So I made a really, really wise decision <clears throat> and got those. Hey, Real MJ, good to see you. Can't buy toilet paper in my town. Hey, Tom W. Yeah, toilet papers. I went Tuesday after my doctor's appointment to the local store, H-E-B, here. And everything was fine. It just looked like normal store day. And then the, the day afterward, it looked like a Mad Max movie. And it was just, everything was gone. There's tumbleweeds blowing through the aisles. It was pretty pretty weird. So, hey, Hawaii Knife Gear, Peter B, welcome. <clears throat> so, yeah, it was it was really, it's been really crazy around here. You can't get anything brought to you. You can't go buy anything. Luckily, we're all stocked up on goodies here. I got energy drinks and energy drinks and granola bars. So I'm good to go. I'll be good to go for at least another three days. So let's get this taken care of in the next half week or so, and I'll be good. <clears throat> Y'all are high, hardcore there, MJ. Dang. You don't get your Amazon TP until mid-April. Yeah, I ordered some, some stuff yesterday. I guess that was right on the cusp of them not having anything, so I got some extra goodies in. 
Yeah, Walmart. Walmart's depressing. I was going to go there late last night. I was thinking, man, why go and be depressed? So, all right. Stock up. I got a bunch of baby wipes. Lots of TP. Cases and cases of water. And about 10 cans of every flavor of Campbell's soup they have. <laughs> so, I'm good. People are going to be wiping up banana leaves here pretty soon. Yeah. Luckily, we installed uh, butt washers <laughs> many years ago. So we're all stocked up for, for that necessity. That area of the world is going to be nice and fine. <laughs> I come from the land down under. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Don't mix energy drinks with CBD gummies. There's, a, there's something there. There's something there. There's a cloud. There's a haze. <laughs> it goes so crazy. I'm just glad to be back. I'm glad to be back talking to you guys. Cup of noodles and top ramen. Got a ton of that stuff. That's right. All right. Let's see here. Still loving this knife. Love this knife. These are all knives I've been carrying and using this week. This knife. Oh, poor, poor cold steel. Not good. Not good. I mean, kind of good, but not going to end up nicely. There went my Cold Steel sponsorship with that knife. But you'll see that review later. All right. So that's the air light. Let's see what else I got here. I'm telling you, there's some really cool stuff about to happen here on this table. Stuff we don't believe. I don't know if Blade Show is going to happen. They're, they're acting pretty tough over there. But I think if it was up to Blade Show... Blade Show would happen, but it's going to be up to the Cobb Arena, folks. And they might shut that stuff down. And that's going to be really upsetting because I'm going to go over there and I'm going to sleep in that hotel room and I'm going to pretend the Blade Show is going on because Dad coming. I've been waiting to get in that hotel room for two years now. <laughs> and now that I'm there, I'm, there's going to be a party in the pit on those days, regardless if there's a Blade Show. So it's going to be Jimmy Slash mini Blade Show in the pit because I'm that's going to happen. Yeah, Reed, I'd hold off on that for a little bit. You know, I I liked it, Brian, but there's some issues I had with it that are not like, not subjective, not objective, subjective. Yeah, they're not subjective issues. They're like real issues that could be a problem. Hogue Decca, man, that's a good knife. That's a great knife. Yes, <laughs> we're all going to be covered in masks. And body suits, duct tape in our heads, duct tape and plastic bags around our heads <laughs> with air holes, of course, with air holes. Dad, come I hope they don't cancel Blade Show. That's going to be upset. Oh, man. Wouldn't that be awesome, Ryan, if we look back in June like we did at Y2K? Like this is uh, the, new, the new one. That would be awesome. I mean, not just because I'm selfish and I want to do things, but man, I know we all have family members that would be at risk. My dad is going through a bunch of stuff right now and he's really immunocompromised and, you know, he's not getting younger. It would just be awesome. I would put up with eating Campbell's soup for the next two weeks if we found out in June that it, was, it wasn't that bad. <clears throat> yeah, MJ, let's do it. We'll just cook brisket out in the out in the parking lot and they can't do anything. Get your mop ready. I still love mop gear. I was over there in Hawaii, stationed in Hawaii, and mosquitoes by the billions. They don't have snakes over there, but they have billions of mosquitoes. And so I would I would sleep in my mop gear just so that they wouldn't get to me. The water hose. Yeah, we all drink from the water hose. Gun Cotton's been pounding the faxes virus in people's heads for 60 days. Hey, Brian. Hey, if you're on Facebook, Facebook me. I want to talk to you about the airlight or email me at jimmy slash youtube at yahoo.com. Yeah, my wife. Wife is an emergency room nurse. And uh, that's kind of scary. You know, it's kind of scary that she's out there in the middle of this all, all the time. And 
yeah it's just one of those things it would be really nice if it didn't go crazy they've closed the schools for three weeks yeah they're closing schools around here too Eric holidays here folks put your hands together all right cool <clears throat> when the bodies rise again the zombies are safe to eat if you boil them <laughs> Yeah, David, I think that's the whole thing is keep a positive attitude. I'm sorry, Brian, if I I didn't mean to dismiss you about being in the Facebook. I got a lot on my mind right now. Just wash your hands and don't lick door handles. You'll be safe. Yeah, there you go, John. John, you understand. It's just you're kind of more afraid for other people than you are for yourself. All right. Man, you know, all they're talking about on sports channels is the virus. All they're talking about on the news channel is the virus. Come to the, to the, the live stream. All we're talking about is the virus. <laughs> Let's stop it. This is a cool knife, guys and ladies. This is a cool knife. You can tell I've been using this. Still got some of that gunk from the thing on there. This is a good knife. Slap that lock on there. Again, I have no, no uh, stock in cold steel or anything. I'm not telling you guys to get that because they give me anything. But that's a cool knife for 36 bucks. Of course, that thing is awesome. As long as Taco Bell stays open, I'll be fine. Yeah, I think my wife's going to Whataburger on the way home. So, yeah, that'll be good. All right. Let's see what we're going to do. Hey, I know some of y'all are going to be really jealous. Yeah, you who gave that to me? Swags. Swags gifted this to me at our ramen dinner. I've been using it. You can tell. I think I used it in the hotel to cut my burrito. <laughs> this is a pretty cool knife. It's got a choil up here. I like it a lot. One of those knives you never can get rid of. The knives that people give you, friends give you. All right. I think the, I think, I think the CBD is mellowing out the energy drink, and I'm coming to a really, really nice place right now. So I'm going to start breaking out some stuff. And let's see. I'm going to show you a couple of things I got at Smoky Mountain last week. I don't know if I if I showed you all of it or showed you any of it. So, I know y'all saw this. Y'all saw this on the Guys Talk Knives. They gave me that. They gifted it to me. It was awesome. I was not expecting that. So cool. One of those things I'll never, ever, ever get rid of. See what else did I get? I did not get that. That's something I'm doing something else with. You already seen that. What are you taking with CBD? I'm not taking anything with it. I just take it. Um, gummy form. Yeah, they gifted me from the brisket chopping. Take it out? Okay. I didn't want to take it out if nobody was interested in that, but I will since there's interest. Now, what I don't understand, and I'm not, once again, I'm not trying to be a steel snob. So they put XHP on his other version that Voyager is, and they went 440C on this one, and the regular one of the, I think is S35BN. I don't understand that. Not that it's going to make a difference for what I'm going to do with this or you're going to do. This is going to be just a total. You're not going to do much more than use that to stab somebody. Man, that's a cool knife, though. It's really light. Love how it looks like the Aladdin knife. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotten one knife in the past five ish months. Ooh, man. Yeah, that's that's sadness. All right. The brisket show was so much fun, John. I had a blast. They were just like, hey, be you. And I was like, uh, yeah, you shouldn't have said that. Because <laughs> it's coming. All right, let me reach into my bag of goodies here. Oh, one of you guys was asking me about the Rough Rider Bowie knife. So I went and picked the one that was my favorite. And I didn't realize they wrapped it up 
and bubble wrap. But anyways, so I'm going to do a review of that and see what y'all think. Somebody was asking me to check out one of the Bowie knives for Rough Rider. So I picked the one that was, I don't want to cut that out right now. That's going to be a lot of work. So I'm going to check that out, beat on something, destroy something. You haven't bought a knife since Black Friday? Seriously? Wow. That straw. Oh, yeah. The Capri Sun straw. All right. Let me see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got... I went and picked up all the cotton samplers I didn't have from Rough Rider. I really like that one a lot. You know why I also like that? That is my grandma's initials. For a long time. RR. So that is really cool. That's pretty neat. Alright, put that away. I can't get, ever get that back in the plastic. You are forever unplastic. Forever unclean. <laughs> All right. What was my Friday the 13th, Terry? It was actually this one right here. I went 1911. 1911 on 313. I've been using this and carrying this a lot this week. MJ, you're going to find out. I'm going to beat some stuff up with it. I'd like to see if it holds up to it. You know, it's kind of cool for 15 bucks, whatever. But if we can destroy some stuff with it on top of it being 15 bucks, that would be even better. <clears throat> Recently got a Bark River Bravo 3. That's a good knife. Anything Bark River. Bark River and Bravo. They're all awesome. Yeah, I have a friend of ours that's really into the 1911 pistol. And I was going to give him this one, but I think I'm just going to buy him another one. I was going to get him this or that 1911 handle sword cane. But then we'll do it back so you can use it more. Oh, I got this. I'm going to be reviewing all this, so, or most of this, so y'all ain't going to miss out if I just show it to you. I got this Elite Tactical knife that I saw up there. You guys, check that out. I forget how much it says. It was like in the 30 range, I believe. It should be. Maybe it's on here still. No, it's not. That's a cool knife. It's like some bench may come out with, or it's even like a nice Ganzo that you don't have to feel guilty about. They stole something, but that's a good knife. Last knife I bought was at Blade Show last year. Dang it, Ryan. I want to direct Delta with the color chassis and scared piece. Scared aren't even out yet. Color Deltas are starting to appear. <clears throat> I like the direct. I want to get one of those for sure. Do, do, do. Yeah, 1911 is 36 or 37 bucks. I think at at uh, Smoky Mountain, that's what they are. And since it's under 12 ounces, you can get the three dollar shipping on it, so it doesn't jack up the shipping a whole bunch. <clears throat> Elite Tactical is is the brand, and it doesn't really have a name on it. So here, I'll give you the number. ET1025ST. ET1025ST. It's a good knife. Gerber Freeman Guide. I don't know. I have to check that out, Cosher. I'm. It's not coming to mind right now. We're just a bunch of slackers out here. <laughs> well, you guys got different priorities, so I understand that. I like the direct. I like the size of it. I mean, I'm a huge fan of huge knives and even huge out the fronts, but just having something right there like that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, Chad number two, you got that thing going out there. Going around and around the world. All right, let's see what I got in the bag here. I got to hurry because I got so much other stuff to show you. That's just another one of the cotton samplers I picked up. Awesome knife. I'm going to have all the cotton samplers. All right. 
I got a bunch of Rough Rider stuff. Alright. Put that there. Y'all don't need to see all the Rough Riders. Oh, is this a Civivi? Okay, I got a Civivi. <laughs> I don't remember what this is. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. Have y'all seen that one? Look at that. That's a cool knife. Check that out. I love the blade shape. Love the thumb stud. Is that what it is? The Duru? The Duru that you do? And you know your knife. But yeah, that's a good one. I can't wait to look at that one a little bit more with you guys. I'll put all this in my review box. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, they're working out that shipping thing over there, which is awesome. So you can get that Rough Rider. If you just want to get a Rough Rider, you're going to pay 8 bucks shipping on a $16 knife. I like how the blade is made from metal. Yeah, that's pretty cool. How do do that? <laughs> All right, Magnum by Boker. I don't remember what's in here. Oh, it's, oh no, it's going to make you question my gender fluidity. <laughs> This is a really neat looking knife. I'm sorry, but there's something about this rainbow unicorn thing. <laughs> Just, I had to get it. <laughs> I don't I don't know where I would wear I mean I know kind of where I would wear it, but I, it's just it's really slick and as far as not slick looking, but just slick here. Doesn't feel super safe, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. I like the color. I really like that green color. But it feels like it's got oil on it or something. All right. So. <laughs> that. That. <laughs> I don't know. I may have been delirious going through Smoky Mountain at that point. That's the only knife you take any knife show. Oh, yeah, they're using that payment plan thing. Oh, looks like the mermaid wife I got from my wife. Okay, cool. All right. Let's see. I'm almost done here with what I got. Oh, I got a couple of these, too. I'm not going to lie. I got these to flip, <laughs> and then I found out there's not anything worth flipping. <laughs> so I'll probably end up giving these away. <laughs> I don't like, <laughs> I can't even open it either. Didn't one of y'all give me a tube opener? One of y'all gave me a tube opener. And I was like, I'm not going to be opening that many tubes. I probably put it somewhere where it's safe forever. And then I got into tubes. All right, let's check this out. So I got me a, a ripe banana. Uh, what is the name of this one? The ripe banana. I don't know what. The, the plate. What is the knife? What's the knife? Anyways, right banana. So it's really pretty. Really cool. Then I'll probably end up putting that in a box for somebody somewhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, put that up there. Oh, Mr. Talon, man, Talon, but man. Oh, I'm going to show you one thing real quick, and then you're going to... This knife, I know they reviewed this over there on Guys Talk Knives. You guys, this, this is a neat little lockback, just a slick little knife. Check that out. That's like something you can chunk in your pocket for church. Just light and skinny and great. That's a good knife. So, if I were you, and you look, I mean, not if I were you, but if you're looking for something kind of nice and doesn't cost a lot, that's a good little knife. All right, almost done. This. You guys have to get one of these. If you're into humongous knives, the price on these over at Smoky Mountain right now is insane. And I would tell you what the insane price is, but I don't remember. But I think it's under 30 bucks, which is insane. Listen to this. <laughs> oh yeah what is this this is like the Ruger 
get her done or something. The Ruger something or another. What is that? The CRKT go, going heavy. Yeah, going heavy. This thing is a beast. And, it, and it's awesome. And for under 30 bucks, it's locked up like a... Mm, look at the size of that liner lock on that thing. If you're looking for a beast knife, and it comes with a, a sheath and everything. So, I would check that out if you're looking for something beastly. That's a, and it's a great, great deal over there. I might give me another one, just a chunk in a box somewhere. This is a good knife. Alright, I think that's it for Smoky Mountain stuff. Yeah, it is. Alright, let me put all this away. Had to use your, Was somebody reaching into the offering thing, Cauldron? Sometimes they reach in to try to make change. Like, I'm, I want to give 10, but I got 20. Old Lady Johnson put in two fives. And they're trying to make change in the offering. You can't let them do that. You tell them, if God wanted you to give 10, he would have gave you 10. Oh, I love CRKT gun cotton. That's good stuff. All right, what else we got? Okay, we got some stuff to open. So I don't even know what's in here. The Harns Warrior looks like a beast. That name sounds familiar, too. All these names in my head. Cutting community wafers, sure. You know, somebody got an extra grape drink. You didn't get one. Sometimes you got to use your knife. All right, so somebody sent this in. I don't know if I'm supposed to say who it is. Starts with an A, and that's all I'm going to say. If you're in the audience, you can say, hey, I'd need that, or... So she could break a 20. <laughs> she just decided she needed change. Didn't give anything back. <laughs> That's wrong. All right. So let's see what's in here. Oh, see some lollipops. All right, any notes? No notes. All right, throw that over there to the trash pile. All right, let's open this up here. So it's in here. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> nice M Tech. Check that bad boy out. Oh, that thing's awesome. Man, this is one of those knives that like a that you just fell in love with when you first got into knives. What do you think? That thing's pretty cool. If they took M Tech off of there, you'd be totally into that. Look at that thing. That's, uh, I like that. That's pretty cool. All right. We got some lollipops and 550. All right. Good stuff there. Thank you very much, Mr. A, if you're in the crowd. Very nice. Very appreciative. Thank you. All right. Let me put that somewhere where we can. Get back to it. Right. No, you can't have it, Frederick. You can't have the lollipops. Yeah, hey, hey Ron, you, you messed up now. <laughs> he was insubordinate and churlish. Ooh, check that out. All right, this is all good stuff. This is all sent in for Piff, by the way. Somebody sent this in for Piff. Ooh, dang. That is really cool. Check that out. That's a nice SOG. Oh, I like that. The Seal Pup. Is that what it's called? That's a great knife. Thank you very much. If you're in here, I didn't say thank you. I'm going to thank you when you uh, get back to what I'm getting back to. I'll email you. If you don't want to say hey, that's okay. This is a really cool knife. Really cool sheath. Check that bad way out. All right, so there you go. That was just one. One of the good things that came in. All right, what else came in? There's something unbelievable that came in. But, let's see here. I'm not going to open that yet. Someone was murdered with one. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. Not cool. It's only, I was reading the other one. <laughs> He said his brother carried one. I said cool on that, not on somebody who was murdered with one. 
It's not something I would say cool on. Okay, so somebody got doubled up on their SMKW Army Care Package and they got permission from SMKW and they were honest enough on their own and kind enough to send us the goodies for for the um, the checking out and for the pith. Now I don't want to say anything but I'm pretty sure he's in the room. I think I saw his name. So I think y'all have already seen this stuff because they always show it. But I'm gonna show some of it anyway. Man, this whole area is getting to be a mess again. It was so pretty for a while. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, already then. Dang, I'm not giving any of this away. I'm keeping most of this stuff. Hey, if you're in the room and you don't mind me saying who this is that sent this in, just cough. Cough once, but cough into your elbow, and then we'll know. All right. The SMKW Park 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 it. The park it shopping Got an old timer. There you go. Oh, it's in the CRKT box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, no way. Look at that. What is that? I'm going to shut that up. Oh, okay. This was all sent in by David Sloan. He is here. Oh, my gosh. That's a good knife. Oh, I'm keeping that. Y'all done. You done messed up now. <laughs> that's a good knife. Dang. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I like that a lot. Oh, it's got a little lanyard area specifically for lanyards. Look at that thing. Oh, David, thank you very much. Wait, Big Hands David's leaving. All right, take care, Big Hands Dave. Had a great time with you last week. Check that out. That's a good knife. Yeah, I don't, that may be much too good for Piff. We're going to see. We're going to evaluate this situation further and go from there. Oh, man. Yeah, the thumb disc works really well on that. Sometimes I have to search for the thumb disc, but I found that one pretty easily. All right, let's see what's in this box here. This is all from the same box that David sent in. Uh, he, was, he was kind enough to send all this for Piff, and I'm going to be kind enough to appreciate it and keep it for him. Oh my gosh, look at this, dead gummit, that's a cool knife, condor, we got a great big condor, no, wrong song, <laughs> same, same idea, the condor ripper, this is cool, this feels good, look at that, what would y'all use that for, like a, I guess like a hunting knife kind of thing, or, it's kind of got a bushcrafty, scandy thing working there, right, yeah? That's a good knife. Yeah, it's a totally different idea. <laughs> I heard con and I heard two syllables and I went into a song. <laughs> oh man. That's a cool knife. Check that bad boy out. Oh man, I bet that's sharp too. I'm not gonna shave my belly with that one just in case. I do decide to send it out. All right, we put that back in the plastic. I'm going to send it. I'm going to do something. I'm not going to keep it. I'm just messing with you guys. I don't want y'all thinking I'm getting greedy or weird. I am greedy and weird, but I'm not going to let that affect my pit decisions. <laughs> all right, so there's that. That's all in that same box. I'm going to sign up for this SCKW thing. Oh, they're sweet tarts. I will be eating one of the sweet tarts. So I'm sorry for that. PIF stands for Pay It Forward Cauldron. Pay It Forward, it's our way of just giving to the community, making somebody happy, and hopefully they'll take that initiative and do the same for somebody else. <clears throat> it's like I was telling Smoky Mountain, it's 
easy to explain and hard to understand. It's hard to understand why all these folks are sending in hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. I can't get this open. I don't know if I should. Anyways, there's a shred. It's all locked up. I don't know if I want to open that, though. There's stickers on it. So maybe just send that to somebody just like that. Hey, JCB, good to see you. Yeah, tell them, yeah, they can watch the movie and uh, suffer the ending. It doesn't end the same way. That's, although, I think the kid was, wasn't he stabbed at the end? Was it a stabbing? So it does knife related, but not at all influencing what's going on here. Check this bad boy out. The Gerber Gutsy. I'm guessing that's for skinning or something with a name like that. Compact processing tool. What would y'all skin with that? Was that big enough to skin what you need to skin? What would that skin? Could you do a deer with that? Maybe y'all skin deers? Deer? Not deers. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, look at the Gerber Hobo Skinner. <laughs> uh, a possum? Too, too small for deers? Deers. Why do I keep saying deers? I know better. Too small for deer. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the Gerber Hobo Skinner. So just like really small animals then. Like a squirrel. The guy there, <laughs> gas station that brought the last. Yeah, he needs to be skinned. Oh my gosh, do y'all drink monsters? You know that fruity Hispanic based monster with the like the sea blue can. Oh, what's it called? It's like Fiesta or something. Maybe it's Caribbean based. I don't know. But anyways, I found the sugar free one. Out there in Tennessee somewhere. And I, I can't find it ever since. So, yeah. Anyways, I don't know where my brain went with that. Maybe it was hobo skinning. Energy. Oh, the gas station guy. Okay. All right. So, there. that's most of what's in that box. There's some candy and stickers. David, man, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your generosity. This is really going to help. Y'all, y'all, um. Get over to Facebook because I'm going to be doing, oh, man, I need to get back to doing some piffles. I know I'm not supposed to, but that's a great way to raise money. And a lot of this, I don't want to one time it for, I mean, I can piffle this stuff off and get shipping money as opposed to just sending it to one person. So I don't know. I think we might do some piffles. I won't do any more waffles for myself, but. Maybe the law will give me a break if I do piffles for the for piff. If I'm doing it for others, maybe they won't arrest me. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Before I show you the big one, what the French call <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, what are y'all getting? What are y'all coming got coming in this week? Anything awesome? The mango loco. That's it. There's a free. There's a sugar free one. That tastes like that. Oh, that's good. You wait till Christmas? No. Piff? I'm fixing to send out 10 boxes of Piff this week for the, the folks the folks that were on the Smoky Mountain. In fact, nobody signed up for Piff off of that. I announced that Piff was being, the Piff list was being opened, and I think I got about 12 people that signed up. So if you are all are in here and haven't signed up for Piff, for this upcoming Piff list, Now's the time to do it. <clears throat> now's the now's the time to sign up and get on the list. Just send me your app, your mailing address to Jimmy Slash YouTube at yahoo.com and say, hey, I'd like to be on the new PIF list. <clears throat> I sent an email and I don't know if you got it. Man, see that's a problem. I need to get back and, and go through and return emails the saying y'all got it i apologize for that sometimes I just look at it and say yeah and just go through but oh that's rude of me it's just i get a bunch of emails and a lot of times i'm checking them on my phone and if i check them on my phone they don't come back up on my computer and then my brain's like oh you took care of that already remember and then i didn't 
Got a CRJ CJRB guy from Drop that joined the US Concealed Carry Association. They have a special edition. Oh, that's awesome, MJ. That sounds cool. Well, send me an email, Chapman, if you want to be on the list. You're on the special list. Not that kind of special, but like, hey, this dude's special. All right, so what else y'all getting in? Blew the horn when I rode by your house. And you, oh, dude, if you were ever that close and didn't bang on my door, I'm content with winning that Demco Hawk. Oh, yeah. It makes me happy to know you have that. That's awesome. I ordered a carbon fiber elite bug out and a mini bug out from SMKW on the way. Nice. Those are both nice knives. In that thing we rigged. <laughs> that, that was a good one. It wasn't easy rigging it, but we got it done. <clears throat> Brian, send me an email. Jimmy slash YouTube at Yahoo.com. Say, I would like to be on the PIF list. And then leave me your mailing address. And that's it. It's all right there. <clears throat> and if you all want to send stuff in, like, man, I got these old knives or knives I'm not looking at anymore, or knives I'm kind of tired of, just send it. Send me an email saying, hey, I got a bunch of stuff I'd like to send in, and I'll send you my address. And everything's appreciated because even though I accumulate stuff all year long, and I might not be sending out all year as far as all the stuff, but then right around at the Christmas, at the Pithmas, you know, I'm sending out 200, 300 boxes. And then that's when all that really kicks in. So don't wait to the last minute. If you got stuff and you want to send it in, you know, go ahead. Send it in now. I got tubs of stuff over here that I'm just collecting for Piff and Pithmas. My whole, half my living room is taken up with my knife stuff and Pithmas. Yeah, what MJ said right there. I'm going to need to sort things out with society clubs. Man, those awesome new guns you got. Those are awesome. That's what you're going to need. You come out dual wielding those things like a Antonio Banderas movie. <laughs> It'd be awesome. You can get a clip on ponytail, though. Desk pop. Yeah, that's right. You've never done a desk pop? Uh all right, what else? Okay, there's any else got anything else coming in? You gotta tell me now because I'm fixing to unleash some pretty awesome stuff here. Just got the Gerber Prairie Bread. It's been my life. Yeah, if anybody's prepared, it's you for sure. Yeah, if I could, I'll make the three hour trek and live in your, I'll just live on your lawn. I'll camp out on your lawn for protection. I just ordered a Kershaw Scrambler by R.J. Martin Design. First Kershaw I bought in probably 20 years. Oh, cool. That's awesome. I don't think I have... You know what I did? I think I've ordered a new chopper. I've ordered a new competition chopper. And because I'm... I think I'm one of the... Not with the ladies... But out of the men, I may be the shortest competitor out there. And so, you know, your hand angle is a little bit different when you're six foot eight as opposed to five foot eight. So let's just say this is my chopper now, and I'm having one made where it kind of goes, the handle kind of comes down a little bit. So I'm getting more. When, my, when I'm coming down on the table. And hopefully that'll help me a little bit. I'm five foot eight. <laughs> I went to I went to my first blade show and they was like, huh, I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> it was like what's his face? Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse. I thought you'd be taller. I'm not. I'm my height is disappointing to many. All roads lead to eighty ten. This great knife. This is such a great knife. Yeah, Chad number two, five foot eight. It's God's, God's favorite height, I guess. I done shrink when they measured me before I was going for surgery. Told him that's five foot seven. 
and I used to was five foot eight. Yeah, well, yeah, I was uh, when I went into the service thirty, you know, twenty eight years ago. I was five foot nine. So I imagine by this time next year I may be five foot three. I don't know. It's not going the way I want it to. That's for sure. Of course, I had hair, so I may have been like Fletch, five foot nine with the fro. <laughs> I may have actually been five foot eight back then. Hey, therapeutic edge, good to see you, Pete. All right, now prepare, prepare to have your minds blown. That's all the sound effects I got. I got a machine gun, but I think my tongue's too dry. I lost an inch after back surgery. Yeah, my dad. Lost a little bit after his knee surgery, so. <clears throat> yeah, be careful out there, Pete. There's some crazies. They'll stab you for some Charmin. That double ply might get you shanked. <laughs> All right. There was a guy that sent in some stuff, and I don't know if I have permission to say who it is. This is going to blow your mind. And he was just like I got these knives I want to send you some knives do with them what you will and I and I, I appreciate everything that everybody does and I don't ever go like oh yours is better than his but sometimes somebody just goes and it's just like ah! and you <laughs> all right so let's I'm gonna show you in the order of awesomeness this stuff is I'm a, in my own personal order of awesomeness. All right, so first, yeah, that's a Benchmade bag, by the way. It's Benchmade to me. It's Ida Hakeneb to you, but now it's Benchmade to you. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh. Oh my goodness. That's an S30V grip he sent me. And. So there you go. Check that out. Oh wowzers. That's a good grip. It wasn't me. I don't like anyone. <laughs> MJ gained an inch after back surgery due to the cadaver bone they used. Dead gum. Man, I need back surgery. I need like two back surgeries. If I could hit that 510, 511 range, I think I'd be happy. All right, so there's that one. Then, that's not it. Check that out. He's sitting in another bench made. Oh, look at that. What is this one called? S90, S90V. I should have read this with my glasses. I wouldn't have showed this to you guys. Is that S90? No. Let me get my super glasses. I'm going to double up on the glasses for this. Holy heck. Oh, don't stab yourself in the eye. That's S90V. What knife is that? I didn't know they made one in S90V. So he sent that in. I'm going to have to reevaluate the order of these. Look at that thing. Super snappy. Check that out. Assisted, assisted flipper. Black. Oh, it's got a little lock on there. So I guess it doesn't thwack open in your pocket. Let's see. So just activate the lock. Yeah, see? Oh, man. Check that out. Dang. So he sent both of those in. All right. <clears throat> what else? All right. I'm going to save that one for last because... One of these things is not like the other. All right. Then he sent in the boost. Oh, that's got a lock on it, too. Got to unlock it. Thwack! Oh, look at that thing. That's awesome. Check that out. Thwack! So he sent in the boost. He's sending whatever this one is. I don't know what the name of the knife is. I probably should have researched it before I got on here. Check that out. So he's sending all these knives. 
All right, now here's here's the last one he sent in. Oh, it's in that box. Yeah. Yes. See why I want to get back to doing some some piffles. <laughs> I got to do some piffles. This would really help pay for. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the 566 carbon fiber with assisted action. Thwack! Oh, man. S35 being on that thing. You know what? You can unassist these, too. I unassisted the one I had a long time ago, and it works out pretty well on that. Thwack! <laughs> but now that I can get my... Oh, check that out. Oh, look at that. So he sent in all these... This is an extreme amount of knives, like a high dollar amount of knives. And thank you so much. I totally forgot if I'm able to say who it is, but I'm going to get back to you definitely. And uh, I'll come back and, and thank you next week or thank you in a video or something because I don't like to say people's names a lot of times because a lot of people don't want, don't want their names out there. If you're on here and you want your name, just tap three times on the yeah the ceiling. 490 Amicus we had to change the name to Arcane to the conference. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Brian, you missed all this. One person sent in all these knives for Piff. <laughs> that you Cauldron gets it. <clears throat> all right, so he sent all these for Piff. I, I got to do a piff, a piffle. And we'll do a piffle and, and, and get some money raised for piff miss and for piff. And it's always good to have a little bit in the coffers just in case something goes down. But man, this is, I'm just sitting here mind blown. This is just awesome. I've already been through this once and checked it out. And I'm going through it again, checking it out, and cannot believe how generous this guy is. So, that is really, really cool of you. All right, check that out. Put that. Put that away. Very cool. Yeah, watch out for the coffer. Oh, yeah, the coffers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, MJ. All right, put that away. An amicus. This is a cool knife. I didn't realize it was S90V. I'm serious. You might you might not have gotten seen it if it hadn't if I had known. And inside, I, I outside I preach about you know this steel is just fine. This steel you just you And then then I see stuff and I'm like, oh, yeah, shiny, shiny S90V. All right, I think I had something else to show you. Oh, I got a couple of knives to review that came in. I'm just going to show it to you one really quick. That one flew over my head. <laughs> Have y'all seen this? Check that out. Check it out as I rip my finger. There we go. Oh, look at that. My feet. <laughs> oh, and I can show my feet. This thing is cool. I saw this at Blade Show last year. It was still in the prototype phase. Oh, yeah, there's you know, what's messed up about this is there's a I think he's 17 now or 18 17 18 year old designed this knife. Oh Check that out What is the name of that company? I have to get back to you. It's like dark night or Secret night or night something It's Yeah, it's a thick lock, but look at that thing. Look how thin it is. This is a perfect kind of EDC able type of knife Oh, hey, my wife just got here. Shut up, dog. Good to see you. I'm going to continue talking, but I want to recognize that you've entered the room. Thank you. Um, you brought yourself up. Oh, yes. Chipotle. All right. Knight's Edge. That's it, another knife guy. Yeah. The kid over there, Caleb, at Knight's Edge. Just. Everybody says hi. Hi. Hello, hello. Many folks. 
the kid is awesome. He came up with a fixed blade not too long ago that was awesome. And then he showed this to me last year, and I was super jealous of his abilities. So, I don't know where it went. Oh, it's in this thing here. That's cool. I can't wait to review that and get that out to you. But that's a cool knife. <clears throat> John Wave said hello. hello. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, he has some awesome designs. I got this one in. This thing kind of mangers me, and it kind of doesn't anger me. But have y'all played with this yet? This thing. <laughs> I want to flick this thing open. This thing is so cool when it's open. You got to give it a little wrist flick on this thing. This thing. Oh, my gosh. Have y'all played with this? Oh, it's got that back lock. Oh, man. Let's see if I can do it without chopping my finger off. There we go. But see right there, you got to push down. And then you got to get that rhythm right or it ain't going to open on you. Look at that. There we go. You got to get it right. This thing is cool, and I can't wait to check it out. And, if the, well, I got to get into it right now because I don't want to mess up my review. But what makes it not flickable is that lock, but it also makes it awesome to to use. So, anyways, had, had my good friends, my good friends. I don't know. They might not think of me as good friends. So. The Birdshot folks sent me these two to check out. I know there's a small, tiny chance, like a infinitesimal chance, that you're not checking out Birdshot stuff. Go check out Birdshot. They're awesome. And if there was no Birdshot, there would be no Jimmy Slash. So they're pretty cool. They're really cool. And they sent that to me, so thank you. And I'll thank them again when I get the review going. But they're pretty awesome. Yeah, all hail Frankie and Bird for sure. See, that's what's going to be messed up too. I'm going to miss out on a bunch of people at Blade Show. And I don't want to wait till next year to see all these people again. I'm telling you, Blade Show doesn't happen. I'm going to make the coronavirus Jimmy Slash, not world tour, but intranational tour, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, intranational. I'm just going to go in a big circle. I don't know if I'm going to go clockwise or counterclockwise. I might just take two weeks on the road. Spend all the money I would have spent on knives and go see everybody else. An AD20 coming out? No. Have you? Is there an AD20 coming out? Dad, come it. Who told you that? That's not right. <laughs> an AD20? What's it going to look like? Oh, man. I've been chatting with John. That no good cheating two time and four flush and backstabbing for <laughs> risking, frisking, frisking, frisking. That's awesome. Very cool. That's awesome. Super cool. I can't wait. I've been looking for a Dimco to spend my money on. A new locking mechanism. That's really cool. All right. Now another knife cake guy came in. Really ruined my day. Thanks a ton. Thanks. Thanks a ton, ton. Yep. So, uh, admins, you're going to want to block him from now on. Just take care of that. <laughs> oh, no, just kidding. That's awesome. I can't wait to check it out. So, where's the knife that goes in here? Did somebody steal it? I may have stolen it. There's a knife that goes in there. All right. I guess that's it. I had a really good time being back with you guys. I appreciate y'all being here. And really, really cool to see you guys. Good to uh, be back at the table. And definitely good to be back on Friday night. So check me out next Friday night. If y'all have any questions, Jimmy slash YouTube at Yahoo.com. I will get back to you. I'll get back to all the Piff folks, too. I'm going to go back and at least reply and say good or thumbs up or something. I always answer on Facebook. All So if you hit me up on Facebook, you're going to have a good chance of getting back to me. or me, I'll get back to you on Facebook all the time. All right. I think that's it. Thank you all for being here. Had a good time. Y'all be safe. Watch out for each other. Try not to go out if you don't have to and try not to uh, be afraid. And I'll talk to you later.